I'm just gonna start filming this in hope that my neighbor's dog will pipe down while I'm doing this. Hi friends, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you so much for asking. Um, I have a lot of stories to tell you today and I'm very excited about this video because I've wanted to do it for so long. I take Uber rides often, okay? So this is going to be an Uber stories video. Particularly, these are going to be absurd Uber stories, some of the weirder ones that I've taken in my day. I don't have a car here in LA, so this is the main way that I get around transportation-wise and I have come across a lot of weirdos and a lot of really normal, nice people as well. I'm not trying to like rag on on Uber by making this video, but there are so many absurd stories that I've racked up over this past like year and a half. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first story I'm going to be telling is one that happened about two nights ago and it was what inclined me to make this video. So I figured why not start off the video with this one, it's the most absurd. So the other night I was Ubering home from Drew, Jack, Claudia, and Lexi's house and I get in the car and I ask for the aux cord as I normally do to, you know, be the DJ. I love being DJ. And the guy is like, yeah, why don't you jump on up to the front it's kind of short so I was like heck okay so then I get up there and he's like ah oh, man yeah my aux cord isn't working but like you can connect to the Bluetooth and so I was like uh, okay I mean I could sit in the back of the car for this but I'm already up here whatever so we set up the Bluetooth I start DJing we're going we're listening to some great tunes it's going well and as most of my uber drivers do he starts asking me about what I do and my job and such so I was telling him about YouTube and then he tells me he's from Atlanta I say I'm from Atlanta we get into this whole spiel of how I really came out to LA and kind of how he did as well and he was asking me like if I party and if I go out and I was like you know sir not really I don't really do much of that and he literally was like oh well I mean if you came out here a virgin like here is the place to kind of you know hook up and I was just like sir what <laughs> and when people say stuff like that i just kind of laugh and i'm like ha, yeah you know and i'm not gonna be like hey you are weird for saying that don't say that ever again let me out of the car even though that's how i felt i felt very weird in that situation but you know moving on keep in mind this man knew how young i was and told me that he was like so much older than me and then a couple minutes go past and it's just silent in the car and he just looks at me and is like you know, if you were a little older and I was a little younger, we'd be the perfect hookup. And I just looked at him and I was like, I don't think I even said anything. I don't remember having any kind of distinct response, but I was just like, ooh. ooh. Eh. Who in their right mind would think that that is okay to say to somebody? I don't understand. Like, I don't even know you. Why would I hook up with you, sir? Please, just stop. So that was definitely the creepiest comment he made in the whole entire ride. But then my music cuts out and something's, you know, up with the Bluetooth. I don't know what happened, but it stopped. So then he was like, okay, you know, let me just put on my music. And the song that he chose to play in that moment was Bump and Grind by R. Kelly. I am not fucking kidding you. And if you aren't familiar with that song, I will insert it here. <laughs> and he was like singing along to it and was like with a little bump and grind. And I was just sitting there like, I need to go home. And then he was like, ah, who am I kidding? I'm not bumping and grinding anybody right now. I'm in the same boat as you. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> And then he brings me to my apartment and when I'm getting out of the car, he was like, oh my gosh, you were just so fun. I hope to have you as a rider again. And I was like, yeah, you know, sir, maybe I'll request another Uber and you'll be the one who accepts it. And then I sprinted back into my apartment and that was fucking terrifying. So that was definitely one of my more creepy stories, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, you know, just a few that are thrown into the mix that I just found to be really funny. So this last VidCon, I was in an Uber going somewhere around that area, and the guy was like asking me why I was there, and I was like, oh, for a YouTube convention. And he thought that I said, you too, like the band, you too. I didn't want to re-correct myself and be like, no, sir, you heard me wrong. I said, YouTube, like the website, YouTube. So I just kind of played along with it, and I just acted like I was the biggest fan of YouTube and I was at a convention for them. <laughs> also, last summer, I remember having this Uber driver that when I got into the car was just playing all of these jam bands. And I'm a big fan of jam bands, so I was like, ooh, rocking out. And then he whips out fucking drumsticks. <laughs> and at every single stoplight, he was just drumming on like the dashboard on his wheel, just like, da -da 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 -da, like to the beat of the song. And I was just sitting in the back like, 
I'm getting a performance. I don't know what is going on, but this is very entertaining. Now, sometimes I have to bring Squirtle in Ubers with me when I'm going back and forth between my apartment and Lindsay's when he's staying with me. And the other day I had him in this lady's car and she was very, very friendly. She wasn't like mad that he was in the car or anything. But because we were on the subject of dogs and Ubers, she brought up this story. And this isn't from my personal experience, but I think it's just so funny that I have to share it with you guys. And so she said that she got a call and then when she went to the place that she was supposed to pick up her passenger, she gets a call from whoever requested it and the guy was like, hey, yeah, it's not going to be a person that you're going to be picking up today. Just wanted to let you know, it's actually going to be my dog. I'm just gonna need you to bring him to my office. I've just been really missing him all day and I just need him transported here. And I was just cracking up when she was telling me this and she was like, I mean, the things that people in Beverly Hills will do for their dogs. He had a full bed just full of fluff. Like he was ready for the ride. He had toys, he had treats. The guy kept calling her every five minutes to see if the dog was okay. And she was like, yep, he's still over here in my seat, just panting, having a great time. Who knows who this man was, but she was like, it was one of the oddest experiences I've had as an Uber driver so far. She ended off the conversation by saying that he called her and was like, hey, you can keep that dog bed by the way. And she looked up the brand of the bed, how expensive it was. And it was over a thousand dollars for a dog bed. People in Beverly Hills are absolutely insane. I don't understand. All right, now for my last absurd Uber ride story here today, I'm going to be telling you guys a story that I've actually told in one of Lindsay's vlogs from last year of Sister Summer. So if you watched that video a year ago and you know what I'm talking about, I'm about to reminisce with you guys right now. So I had a meeting this day and then I was leaving the place and when I got the call being like, where are you? Where should I pick you up? The guy kept calling me Bella. He was obviously foreign and I didn't really mind it. I was just like, oh, friendly guy, here I come. And so we start driving, you know, I'm like, how was your day as I ask most Uber drivers and I guess I kind of nervously laughed after I like asked the question and he like stared at me through the rear view and was like it's great now that you laughed at me like that and then the first question he asked me is how old are you and at this point I was only 17 so I was like oh I'm only 17 and he was like bullshit and what are you supposed to say when somebody tells you that you're not your age like if I was actually older than 17 why would I lie and just tell him that I'm 17 like I guess maybe to make him go away but really I was 17 at the time and he was kind of flirting with me so I guess the fact that I was 17 like weirded him out so he was like oh like I'll get in trouble if I mess around with you and I was like what mess around when did I say that I wanted that to happen I don't you know, I really don't understand some creepy uber men that I have had who just assume that like I also mutually would like to hook up with them. And this man was just relentless, like he was not letting this down. He just kept saying over and over again how if I was older than 17, he would date me. He was like, oh, just the way that you carry yourself, like you are the woman that every man would want to marry. He was just generally trying to just charm me up, just throw out all compliments left and right. And then he was like, oh, I feel so bad like saying these things because I'm probably as old as your dad and I was like well uh, my dad is 52 so are you 52 and he was like oh no I'm not that old and then again he accuses me of not being 17 and he was like oh if your dad's 52 like you're not 17 and I was like no I really am sir it was just so uncomfortable I was just sitting in the back seat the whole time just like <sighs> When I was getting out of the car, he like kissed me on the hand and was like, it was so, so nice meeting you. And I was like, you too, sir, yes. And he was like, add me on Facebook. And I was like, fuck no. So that is my small collection of Uber ride stories that I could remember off of the top of my head. If you would like to see more of these storytelling videos, please let me know because I love just, you know, telling you guys all of my absurd things that happened in my life. And hey, you know, it's not like I'm gonna stop using Uber, so there's probably going to be a lot more odd stories to happen, which I will tell you when they occur. Also follow me on Twitter at Miss Megan Makeup if you would like to see when they do take place because 9 out of 10 times I tweet about it. Give this video your thumbs if you enjoyed it and leave comments down below if you've ever had any kind of creepy Uber ride stories or weird Uber ride stories. Let me know folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Okay? Stay smiling. Bye. I don't see